Today I'm reviewing the Novapult external DVD and CD drive. I bought this drive to use with both my PC and my laptop. My laptop does have a built-in CD drive, but I really wanted to use the DB drive with it too. The external drive is small and lightweight, so it's easy to carry along in my laptop bag when traveling. So that's a good thing. I think the drive looks pretty sharp with the textured white plastic top against the black base. The cord is built into the external drive and tucks neatly into the bottom of the drive so you always have it with you. I wish the cord wasn't attached to the drive though for a couple of reasons. First being that this type of cord should be replaceable since the cord may fail over time with repeated use, leaving you with no way to power your device. And second, the cord is just too short to be practical for my computer. It might work well with others, but it wasn't the best fit for me. I have USB ports on both the front and the back of my computer, but the placement in relationship to the cord is not convenient at all. If I plug this drive into the back of my computer, I need to stand up and reach my hand into an awkward location just to get to the drive or move my computer to a new location where the rear of the computer is more easily accessible. Neither one of these works for me. The other option is to use the USB ports in the front of the computer, which is what I did. Because of the placement of the cable, the drive must be either dangled from the cord, not good, aimed towards the rear of my computer so that I can't see it from the front or load a disk, or set it on an angle overhanging the side of the computer. I tried to aim it to the side, but because the cord is stiff, it won't allow it to sit flat when placed on any other angle. I chose to tilt the drive at an angle, although it wasn't easy to use this way. Once plugged into my computer, a bubble popped up telling me the device had been detected. By the time I resituated the drive so that it wouldn't fall, the bubble was gone, and I had a hard time finding it again since it didn't show up in my list of drives. After plugging and unplugging it a few times, though, I did manage to find it. Once the drive was plugged in, I heard it make a noise, letting me know that it was trying to spin the disk. I pressed the eject button on the front of the drive and it only opened a crack. I thought it was maybe the angle that the drive was on, so I tried holding the drive in a variety of angles and repeatedly pressing the eject button. It opened no more than about a fourth of an inch on any of my attempts, but it could be opened the rest of the way by hand, so that's what I did. I inserted a CD into the drive and was able to burn a disc and to play an audio file from the drive. There were a couple of concerns between the cord and the drawer not opening properly, but still the drive was both able to read and write a disc, so I feel that it's an okay burner for the money. I'll be testing this further on both my PC and my laptop over the next few days and will update if necessary. In the meantime, I can only give it about 3 out of 5 stars because I really had hoped it'd work better than it does. Hopefully it'll work better with my laptop since this is where I need it at the most. More information in the comments below. If you liked this review, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more.